when you suppress this kind of thinking and go up into your head, then you block access to what we call fear structures in the memory. So we have very few networks available. So fear structures is something that uh, Foa and Kozak wrote about in 1986, saying that whenever you have a trauma of some sort, you've got a memory of that, and it ain't going anywhere. Forget this idea of extinction. You know, extinction is, is valid as a definition, but it doesn't mean to extinguish something, get rid of it. Our memories are always going to be there. But what we want to do with fear structures, which are the structures after a trauma, is in treatment, fillet that open. We want to get, we want to bring the client as present as possible to as reasonably uh, a facsimile as safely possible of the trauma and then modify it. That's the job in treatment so that that fear structure doesn't stay stuck. With people who are worriers, because they don't access all those areas of the brain, they can't get a hold of this fear structure. So, and neither can you. So here we have, if the mind fails to access the relevant response propositions, that means in a threatening situation, I want to have what we would call rich response propositions, as many options as possible to solve the problem that is in front of me. You can't get to that, because you're only going to have one option or two up there instead. They're not going to get to instructions of what we call the peripheral physiological affective system, so we're not going to get that arousal that is proper for this particular threat. And then we can't work on modifying the fear structure. Therefore, when you send your client out to do a behavior practice, and they're worried before they start to do the practice, and you know who wouldn't be, but so there's something we've got to solve, and they're worried through it, and or they're worried all o afterwards, oh my God, what are, I, I said that in front of them, oh my God, what are they thinking of me now? <clears throat> they're worried in any or all of those situations. No surprise they don't get better because they can't get the learning here. So if this is what's going on, what we want to know, part of our charge today is, how on earth do we get somebody to go toward a threatening situation without worrying. Crazy idea. Can't get there 100%, but that's the path that we want to walk down. So later today, as I start talking about dumb, stupid, crazy things to do, try to keep in mind this slide, which is let's mess with things in such a way as we make people more willing to drop their guard and take the hit.